The cell is needed to store enough energy to start a chemical process known as cell division. During this time period there is massive cell activity where the cell grows and the phases in which this happens varies between a few hours and a few months. Mitosis is the process in which this occurs and consists of six phases. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. In interphase, chromosomes are not clearly recognizable, although the nucleolus may be visible. It may also contain a pair of centrioles, or organizational sites for microtubules. In prophase, chromatin in the nucleus condenses and becomes distinguishable as chromosomes. The nuclear envelope disappears, releasing the chromosomes, while centrioles begin to move to opposite polar ends. Here, the spindle fibers begin to form the mitotic spindle. In metaphase, the spindle fibers align the chromosomes along the cell center, or metaphase plate. The spindle fibers then attach to either side of the chromosomes, also known as centromeres. In anaphase, the paired chromosomes separate the kinetic cores and move to opposite sides of the cell by contracting spindle fibers. In telophase, once the chromatids are at opposite poles, a new membrane forms around the daughter nuclei. The chromosomes then separate and no longer remain distinguishable along with the spindle fibers. Cytokinesis begins. In animal cells, cytokinesis occurs when a fiber ring around the center of the cell contracts, pinching the cell into two daughter cells, each with one nucleus. In plant cells, a cell plate is formed in between the two daughter cells. Now on to meiosis. Many steps of meiosis closely resemble corresponding steps in mitosis. Meiosis, like mitosis, is preceded by the replication of chromosomes. However, this single replication is followed by not one, but two consecutive cell divisions called meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Alright, the first step is prophase 1. This is when chromosomes begin to condense and homologs loosely pair along their lengths, align gene by gene. This is also when crossing over takes place. Crossing over is the exchange of corresponding segments of DNA molecules by non-sister chromatids. Metaphase 1 is where the pairs of homologous chromosomes are now arranged on the metaphase plate, with one chromosome in each, each pair facing each pole. Anaphase 1 in meiosis follows the same procedure as anaphase in mitosis. At the beginning of telophase 1, each half of the cell has a complete haploid set of replicated chromosomes. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids, one or both chromatids including regions of non-sister chromatid DNA. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms. In plant cells, a cell plate forms. This is a result of cytokinesis, which is the division of cytoplasm. This occurs simultaneously with telophase 1, and it forms two haploid cells. In prophase 2, a spindle apparatus forms. Also, in late prophase, chromosomes, each still composed of two chromatids associated at the centromere, move toward the metaphase 2 plate. Metaphase 2 is similar to metaphase 1, but in metaphase 2, the kinetic cores of sister chromatids are attached to microtubules extending from opposite poles. In anaphase 2, the breakdown of proteins holding the sister chromatids together at the centromere allows the chromatids to separate. The chromatids move toward opposite poles as individual chromosomes. Finally, there's telophase 2. This is where the nuclei form and cytokinesis occurs. The meiotic division of one parent cell produces four daughter cells, each with a haploid set of unreplicated chromosomes. Each of the four daughter cells is genetically distinct from the other daughter cells and from the parent cell.